WooCommerce offers you default checkout layout, right? However, do you always need all those fields? In fact, for your WooCommerce store, you might need to add some customized or personalized fields to store your important customers' information. Now that's where Checkoutify comes in. With Checkoutify, Checkout Customizer for WooCommerce, you can easily replace your default WooCommerce checkout in seconds. In fact, you can add all the necessary fields however you want in that checkout. This is Nabila with Rex Team, and today I'm gonna give you an overview of the plugin Checkoutify, Checkout Customizer for WooCommerce. So let's have a look. So to use the Checkoutify plugin, you need to have WooCommerce installed and activated on your WordPress dashboard. You also need to install and activate Checkoutify. Now I've already done these and now I'm going to go ahead and show you where you can activate the license. All right. Now here you can see in the Checkoutify, we have the licensing options here. So you can add the license from this field and activate it. And if you need to learn more about Checkoutify, you can also go ahead and check out the documentations. Now let's go ahead and see what we have in the Checkoutify. So first, if you click on add new, you will see that we have a pre-built template here, which is express layout. Now I can either import this or I can start one from scratch. Let me first show you the default template we have. So if I import this, now you can see that this is basically the express layout. Now we have the shortcode option here, which you can actually paste in any of the pages. Now, if you do that, then, then this specific checkout would appear there. Now you can see that only the fields that are here is in the gray background in this fields option. Now I cannot drop first name, last name that's already here twice all right now since the company name is not here yet i can still drag it and drop here one of the other special features of uh, checkoutify is you can actually drag the fields and drop it in any place you want now i'm going to go back and show you one from scratch now here when you click on start from scratch you can actually name your checkout so let's say I want to create a multi-step checkout, all right? Now I'm going to give it a name and create this. Now, once I do that, you can see that the step one has already been defined for me and you can also delete the steps that are already here. So for example, let's say you are selling some digital products on your a store all right so you won't need the street address the country the state of your customer so here you can simply delete these options you see it's very easy to do you can simply just add the first name last name email address direct bank transfer the order details in here okay now i'm gonna just simply go through the fields we have so in the billing fields you get first name last name company name country and region street address apartment suit uni town city state zip code phone and email address then if I drop the shipping fields here, you get the first name, last name, company name, country, region, same as the billing address. But here we don't have the email address option. Then in the additional field, you get the order notes. Now you can drop it here and your user can leave some notes while they're ordering something from your store. Then we have some advanced fields. Now those are payment, coupon, order details, login, create account, and place order. Now, place order is already here. Order details is here. You can add the coupon here so that your customer can enter a coupon and they'll get maybe a specific discount. Then you can also add the payment option. Now in the payment option, you'll see that currently I have three options here, right? Check payments, cash on delivery, and credit card. And it says Stripe but if you have paypal installed and in, activated on your uh, wordpress dashboard or whatever payment gateway you have in your store will appear here so this is basically just an example then we have some other options here 
in the settings. I'm going to show you the order bump up in a later section. First, I'm going to show you the basic settings we have. So you can set this checkout as a default checkout uh, by just one click. All right. And you can add the steps here using the multi steps option. Now, I already have given the name multi step checkout. So you know that I intend to make a multi step checkout. So I'm just going to go ahead, turn this one page checkout into a multi step checkout. Now here you can see that I can also change it back to a single step if I want. I'm just going to go ahead and keep it as multi steps. And you can see that I have three different styling options as well. So if I do this, the design changes to this one. And if I do this, this design changes to this one. You can also edit the step design so you can increase the font size. You can change the font weight. Then you can change the text transformation. You can change the color. Similarly, you can change every color you have here. You can change the background color. You can change the border radius padding. You can change the entire checkout color however you want according to your brand style. Now, let's go ahead and add a step. Now, you can see that I can change the step names here. So, let's say the first step name is customer billing. The next step is for the payment, let's say. So, the payment. And the third step is order notes. That's it. Now, in the first section, let's say I want to delete the payment options here. All right. So basically, I just want the billing section to be in the first step. If you want, you can also add shipping section here as well. Let's say I want to add the shipping. Where is the town? I want to add the town, state, and department here. You can also edit the section name, all right? So let's say billing and shipping. If you want to change the name like this, you can do that and update this, all right? I want to change this. If you want, you can add a different section, give it a section name, let's say shipping section. And then drag the town here and place it here so that you can identify which address is for which section. Next, you can go ahead and edit the payment option. Let's say you want to add the payment option here. You have to add a section first so payment let's say you want to add this one here you want to add some coupon here and add the order details here that's it all right so once you do that you want to add the third section order finalization let's say and you want to add the login and create account here then maybe you want to add the order notes here then you can add the place order button here now that's about it now i'm just going to go ahead and update this then what i'm going to do is set this as my default woocommerce checkout now first let me show you how the woocommerce default checkout looks like I'm just going to disable this once again and then go to the store. So if I go here, you can see that I already have two items on my cart. So let's just go ahead and check out. So this is basically the default WooCommerce checkout that looks. So what I'm going to do is go back and I'm going to change it to default WooCommerce checkout and update this. Now I'll go to my account again. And then I'm going to go to the checkout. And now you can see that my checkout page has changed to the one that I have just created and showed. So that's about it. That's how easily you can create your checkout 
using Checkoutify, you can see that you can also rearrange the entire section. So let's say I want to keep this shipping section here. You can edit this. You can add columns here. If you want, you can uh, overall change the design of this section. You can do everything with this. You can also delete a section whenever you want. That's totally up to you. So if you want, you can also view this before adding it to your WooCommerce default checkout. And that's about it for the creation. Now I'm going to show you a special feature that we have here is the order bump. Now that I have created a complete checkout and I have shown you how it looks in the front end after you replace uh, your default WooCommerce checkout, I'm going to show you a special feature that we have and that is order bump offers in the checkout. Now, what is order bump you might ask? Now, order bump is something that we call a flash offer right in the checkout. Now, let's say someone has taken a decision to purchase a t-shirt from your store. Now, at the checkout page, you can give them a special offer like buy pant with this t-shirt right now to get a 20% extra discount. Now, in the checkout page, you can uh, suggest whatever relevant product that your customer is currently trying to buy now. Now, what happens here is when they're buying something from you and they see a relevant uh, product offer in the same page that they're trying to check out, they might take that offer and you will be the one getting benefits from it. Ultimately, you are increasing the average order value of that customer. Now, that's how order bump works. Now, I'm going to show you how you can add it in the checkoutify. Now, let's say I am going to use this express layout pre-built template that I have shown you guys before. Now, if I scroll down, now here is the order bump offer. Now, I can click the new order bump here and you can see that you get a whole new module here where you can edit the entire order bump offer. Now, this is an example and you can change the styles from here. You can see that you can use this one, you can use this one, you can use this one, you can use any of these. So let's say I'm going to use the last one. I can change the color here. You can see that it's changed. I can use a lighter color though. Let's say this one. You can change the pricing color here. then you can go ahead and add the product you want to add in this checkout. So let's say I want to add the beanie with logo. Then I can change the title here. You can increase the product quantity. So let's say someone's buying a cap and you are offering them two products or three beanies with a specific discount so i'm not gonna add an image here right now let's say i want to change the text here since this is a special one-time offer i want to give it a bright red and you can change the color from here also use this color then you can add the discount type let's say percentage or a flat amount Let's say if they buy three beanies, I just want to change the percentage. You can change it. Discount applied to regular price. Increase the discount value. So let's say 20%. And you don't have to change anything here because this is just a percentage. So if you want, you can replace the all of the products and just add the order bump offer here. So you can use this when you're uh, suggesting something like a bundle where the actual product that they're buying is also included so they can easily replace the current product with the entire bundle so for now this isn't applicable here i'm just going to save changes and i can simply add it here it's this much easy and i also want to show you another one we have is the custom field so I haven't shown this in the previous section. Now I'm going to add a custom field. So let's say I want to add the phone number, but this is the home phone number. Let's say home number, but I want 
them to give me okay. the same thing number billing and that's it you can now simply place it here you can also rearrange this after the home number so that's how easy it is to create the custom fields and order bump offers so there you have it now you can replace your woocommerce checkout in just one click using checkoutify go ahead and start making your checkouts more distraction free and interactive for your customers i've added the two link in the description box get it now and let us know in the comment box how you're using it i'll see you in my next video take care until then Thank you.